All right, so today we're gonna talk about the new mouse by Cooler Master, the MM731. And I'm gonna start this video off a little bit different than most of my other ones. What I wanna cover first here is some of the controversy you're hearing out about this mice. Some people just jumping on it saying it's bricking their mice, yada yada. I haven't watched any other reviews, as y'all know. I don't watch other people's reviews before mine, but as far as on socials and everything, you're hearing people that are having issues with their mice whenever they first plug it in, do the firmware update and everything. And yes, that happened to me as well. But Cooler Master has since released the update for that. What you have to do is plug in your dongle first, update your dongle. Now you can be using a different mouse while you're doing this, or you can take uh, your 731, plug it in and use it that way. Don't put it in a wireless, keep it in wired mode, okay? Update your dongle, let it go through the steps. It does it automatically, bam, it says it's done. Then what you wanna do, is unplug your Cooler Master and then flop it over into the wireless mode and then update the mouse. So it's like there's a communication issue where both of them trying to update together and then it's causing this hodgepodge. And for me, when I did that at first, straight out the bus, cause hex, that's what you usually do with all gaming mice, right? Anyways, it did that and then it just wouldn't even register the mouse as far as wireless. I can still use it wired, but not wireless. So anyways, make sure you update each of them separately. Don't fire your mouse up into wireless mode. Update your dongle. After that's complete, then unplug your mouse and then put it into wireless mode and it'll update itself on the software as well. And then you're good to go. So other than that, inside your box, of course, you're gonna get your mouse. Now it does come in white and then it also comes in a black version. You get your cable. You get four grips, two for one and two up here, and then two for both sides. And then you get your dongle. Wait a second, you also get your adapter if you wanna route it up onto your desk. Now my entire time using the mouse here, I used it wirelessly. As you see, I haven't even undone the wire. I did a little bit, again, just for that update. I haven't even really used it. If you're curious about the wire here, we can take a look at it together. It is a little bit thicker. As you see, it's holding some kinks right there. Again, this isn't used. Again, it, it's a little bit of a stiff one here, a little bit heavy, but come on guys, we're using a wireless mouse, not a stinking wired one, so who cares about it, right? But anyways, other than that, again, using it wirelessly, I did not even route it to my desk, so you know what? We don't even need that either. But anyways, I put this into the top IO of my PC or into a hub right there and perfectly fine, no hiccups, no lag, no anything perfect connection. But most importantly here, how about the dimensions of the MM731? Well, yikes. I mean, we can look at these numbers, but this shape is just weird. It is something. Talk about ergo to the extreme, right? It's like, yo, where can we put these curves and make those curves dramatic? Now, the gray over here kind of makes it look a little more subtle. So if I look at it like this, you see the white and then you see the gray and you see it kind of the gray stop right there. That is seriously how it is right there. Like it goes in, it's swooping, you got that curve and then right over here, it's more or less straight. Over here, you kind of have that traditional kind of slide in right there, not too bad. I mean, it does swoop, but again, it's this side right over here. And whenever I take this mouse and I put it in my hand, right? Instantly, bam, just like that. So you're looking at that crazy shape. You see my fingers over here? Watch them how they come down and around, right? And if you put it like this, this is always how my hand sat on it. My fingers automatic because this hump comes so far over here, right? It swoops around and my fingers automatic. Like if I come back here like this, like this pinky's back here, this is up here and it's just all sorts of crazy. Anyways, so looking at the mouse right here, it's in my hand, right? So hopefully, let me swoop over this one. Hopefully the camera can catch this, right? So you see it in my hand. This is how I'm gripping it. Take a look at the mouse. It's shooting this way, all right? So my hand is straight, yet the mouse is like this. That's exactly how it just sat in my hand, no matter what. Now, did that throw me off during game or anything? I wouldn't say it threw me off in my game, but I always caught myself auto-correcting myself so maybe that does mean it threw me off in game. <laughs> Anyways, right? that's how I always caught myself. I'm like, yo, why is, like my hand just wants to go like this all the time. I'm over here trying to get in a fast pace, flicking and dipping like this. But then when I start gripping like this, as you see, it just starts, the mouse just starts fidgeting around again with the curves drastic over here. It's swooping over here. So it's trying to auto correct each other like that. So again, it's it's hard to put it, it was weird. I'll put it that way, because shape is different for everybody, okay? So I can't say it's bad or it's good or this, that, or the other. For me, it was incredibly weird. 
and it just made me constantly think about it and try to correct it whenever I was in game, but I still gamed fine with it. So you all know I love doing comparisons, right? To make it easier for you, you can kind of compare it to these couple mice and really wrap it up and say, yeah, that's for me, or no, it's not for me. And honestly, this, it's hard to come up with anything for this. Maybe the closest would be the Ninjutsu Origin 1X, but I mean, still, like you can look at him here, you kind of get that same vibe somewhat as far as maybe more or less the curves on the side over here on the thumb side. But when you look over to this side, that's where they get drastic, right? That's where they really change. If you can look at it better on the bottom here. So again, the Cooler Master is swooping out and going straight. The Ninjutsu is just a little bit more subtle of a swoop, if that makes any sense. Going one to one, it's like, all right, Okay, we got a mouse, right? Coming over here, it's like, yo, hold up. What's my hand trying to do? So anyways, wrapping up shape and dimensions, I love seeing unique shapes. And that's what we have right here. It's awesome, it's cool, put it in your hand. It's different, it's different. I can't hate on that, because again, it's different for everybody. Um, it's definitely weird for me, fun to use, and I love unique, innovative shapes, and that's what we have. All right, so let's go on and get a quick look at the weight right here. Now we have the door on the back, but the dongle is out. Slap it down on a scale. We are gonna get 59.2 grams, and it really feels that. It's very balanced in the hand. It feels incredibly lightweight. I believe the wired one comes in at 49 grams, which is a little bit lighter, but Again, for this shape and everything in the hand, it's incredibly lightweight and very balanced. Now underneath the mouse, we're using a 3370 sensor. The wired version actually used a 3389. As you see over here, we have Bluetooth and wireless. Absolutely love it. This is our storage door for our dongle again. You have your pair button, which I mean, you really don't need to use because it automatically pairs up once you get the firmware right. And as far as battery life, in Bluetooth, you get up to 190 hours. And then in wireless, you get up to 72 hours. Again, of course, pending use. And then your RGB. And talking about RGB, your only zone is right on the back right there with the Cooler Master logo. It is not your scroll rule or anything, just the logo right there. And you do get to take advantage of Cooler Master software. You can adjust your DPI, all your settings, this, that, or the other. Cooler Master software has been, well, let's just say Cooler Master software, not one of the more user-friendly ones in my personal opinion. But again, if you want it, here it is. But all your settings save to the mouse. So uh, just set your profiles there and then remove it if you want. Now, one thing about the sensor here, as you can see, it is scooched way far front. Heck, it's like a finger's length right there from the first foot. The midpoint would be right where the batteries and the serial number are, but it's even scooched up closer than that. You hear a lot of people that do like that. I believe the uh, Orochi was a cell point they had on that as well more or less for like that fingertip that flicker right there you know what I mean me personally with the sensor on the back like the Aerox 3 people complain about or this being scooched the front or with the Orochi me personally I can never tell a difference it doesn't bother me one stinking bit I use bigger ergo mice so again my movement is with my hand not really my fingertips but again I wanted to let you know that yes the sensor is scooched incredibly far up towards the top. Now, these feet right here, I'm not sure if you can catch it. I'll pull it down into the macro. Again, I really doubt the camera can catch it, but they sink into the housing and then the lip kind of flares out. So it's not like the entire foot or the, the entire feet right there is flat down on the pad. Because again, when you look at it here, again, it's so mild, the camera can't even pick it up but it goes down and then the edges kind of flare up a pinch. So it's kind of gliding on the edges right there. Now, as far as a glide test, I mean, mouse glide tests are ridiculous because everyone's going to use a different mouse pad. So it doesn't really tell anything, but me talking about those feet kind of flaring out a little bit towards uh, around the edges right there. I don't really notice it whenever I'm sliding around or anything. One thing I do notice is me kind of catching on the outer edge here. As you can see, we have our feet. And then, well, since it's all white, it's kind of hard, but then you got that little lip over there. I notice sometimes with me being a firmer presser, firmer gripper, I feel that kind of drag on the mouse pad, especially when I swipe towards the left. All right, so now as far as our buttons, number one, the placement is very nice. Again, when you put your thumb on there, bam, your buttons are right there. They flare out just a pinch. My back one actually kind of sits a little bit more into the shell. You can kind of see it right there, a uh, minimal, but again, you can decipher them clearly because they got different shapes on them right there. It sits right with your thumb. Again, my back one is kind of more within the shell from the front one there. We are using LK optical switches. Now these switches, I believe, are the exact same like Razer uses because LK optical switches are made by A4 Tech, which is a company that also makes bloody game and stuff. That's A4 Tech's company where they make their optical switches. Same with Razer keyboard switches. Same with the switches right here.
So as you're hearing right there, one and two are fantastic. They really are. Side buttons, not so much. You hear them kind of spring out whenever they go, you know what I mean? Also, let me show you on my side button here, again, with this back one, when you press it here, it kind of just shakes in and out, goes with into the shell, as you can see there, bam there, bam right here. The front one is perfectly fine. It has a little bit of rattle, but again, it's a little more solid. The back one is just, again, it goes in, and then it's all over the place right here. One other thing, not to be a little complainy pants here, but one and two. So you're seeing them very quick, not much travel whatsoever, but there's no space in between one and two as far as the plastic. So, I mean, you could eventually right here, it'll scrape against each other because again, there's not much gap right there at all. That never happened to me in game, never once happened to me, but again, I could see it happening to someone potentially right there. The one thing I did notice in game is that weird back button there, again, being smushy and kind of wobbling around on me. Now, as far as the build of the MM731, it feels good in the hand. Again, it does feel pretty solid, but I do have a few flex points. I know everyone just hates my stress test, right? But anyways, when I press on the side right here, like where my thumb would be, you all know, again, I'm a tighter gripper, firmer presser. When I press that, I can see the gray part separate from the shell right there, and it just leaves a little bit of a sharp edge along the top right there. Now that I'm not pressing it now at all, again, I still feel that slight gap up there. Will that happen over time? I'm not sure. But again, you do notice that flex. And when you press, when you let go, there's a little bit of a gap right there. Now on the bottom, again, who's going to be pressing it? Nobody, but I like doing my test. I have excessive flex right down here on the back end up towards the top. I really don't have any. It's really just right here towards the back. And like I always state, right, who is going to be testing or pressing in those spots? I don't know. But us as product reviewers, we do not use these products as long as you guys. Couple weeks, few weeks here, you know what I mean? So we're not going to be able to test that durability. That is why I do those stress tests. I'd rather damage my product, show you guys where the weak points are so you can prevent that or keep an eye out for that. That is why I do them. All right. So wrapping up the MM731 by Cooler Master here, this mouse is going to come in at 90 bucks for the wireless version and 80 bucks for the wired version. That right there is just weird. Usually the wired version is dramatically cheaper, like say 59, 60 bucks, something like that. You know what I mean? But $10 difference is just like, I don't know, I've never seen that before in peripherals. I usually see a bigger price difference, right? But other than that, we'll talk about that in a second. The MM731 right here, as is, is it something I can recommend? No, I don't think so. And that's not talking about like the bugs within the software, any updates, I showed you the fix on that. So if you've heard about that or you're worried about that, wash that clean, because again, it works perfectly fine, right? The reason I say it's not something I can really recommend is it's such a unique and different shape. Okay, I mean, heck, I can't really recommend any mouse. I can only show you what it is, you know what I mean? But this one just being so different than some other ones that I feel are a lot more safe, this is something you got to get in your hands and justify for yourself. It, it really is, you know what I mean? As far as the price, 90 bucks, I stink and love it. Wireless, Bluetooth, wired, you know, lightweight and everything to build. Only time will tell, you know what I mean? But 90 bucks, I think, is a great deal. I do wish the uh, wired version was, say, 50 or 60 bucks. I think that would make more sense as far as a consumer, heck, even company marketing, you know what I mean? Because that's what I would have probably said. Yo, go try the wired version. Get that shape in your hand. See if you like it. If you really like it and you're getting down with it, then jump into the wireless version as well. But at 10 bucks, I say, yo, just pick up the stinking wireless one, you know what I mean? But all in all, MM731 right here, unique one. It's a different one. Again, get, get it in your hand. You're going to have to make this call yourself right here. I hope I helped you out one way or another with this video. I really do hope I did, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.